Welcome to part 32 of the Kicho Wong Dong series. In this episode, we're covering a technique called Palgup Kunyuk, uh, which means elbow strike. Now, there are a lot of elbow strikes, and I'm not going to cover all of them in detail. Rather, I'm just going to show you a quick montage of all the different elbows, some of them very basic, some of them very advanced. But when you first learn the elbow strike, there is a common one, which is actually a twisting elbow strike, which is Tolo Pal Gupkunyuk. I will mostly be covering that elbow in this video, but later on I will show you a drill to help you practice all your different elbow strikes that you might know. So to warm up, the first thing we have to understand is what part of the body you are striking with. Now it might seem very obvious, elbow, it's the elbow, but a lot of people get the forearm confused with the point of the elbow. I often see this in breakings where people are trying to break it with their forearm and the forearm is a great strike, it's very powerful but not as powerful and not as small as the point of the elbow. The point of the elbow is one of the hardest points in your body and it should be this very small point that we are aiming for. So the first thing to do is to tactilely feel the point of your elbow with your hand. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we're always striking into our palm so we can keep drilling that this is the point of the elbow. And one of the things I tell my younger students and my tiny tigers is it's like a brushing the teeth motion. The palm is down. When you turn your hand up, it forces more of the forearm and less of the elbow. So turn your palm down in order to strike. Again, this is not the only way to do an elbow, it's just the way I'm demonstrating in this video. Once you know which part you're striking with and you get this motion of palm down across your body, kind of like the hook punch motion, you can then do the technique. So with this technique, we're gonna go from our ready stance, our chumbi, and we're gonna stand back into our fighting stance. And then you're gonna throw your front hand out and then you're going to twist and bring your elbow to your hand, not your hand to your elbow. And the idea with this is that you're keeping your shoulder, elbow and hand in line with each other, hand open or hand closed, palm down, and you're simply twisting your waist and bringing the elbow forward. Now you might be thinking, why am I striking my own hand? Well, to practice in class it's a good solo drill, but in reality, in between your hand and this elbow is someone's head or jawline that is what you're striking towards. So always visualize that as you're doing the strike and you simply twist with your hip, much like the cross punch or the hook punch and the elbow connects. Now, the best thing to do is to start with this technique on the spot and just practice drilling here. And then you can walk forward with it or put it into a little combination. One of the ones I like is to knee kick first, put the hand forward and elbow. This is often a drill I give to beginners to start them to understand these two very basic but very good fundamental self-defense techniques of the knee and the elbow. We're now going to look at common mistakes as there are many. I'm just going to cover three in this video. So like I say, when I first teach this elbow strike, the main problem is the, the arm being at a strange angle. I see this a lot where people connect like this. And again, you can still do damage with this technique, but it looks messy and it's not as easy to twist and it's unlike any other strike we have, so that the best thing to do is to keep the arm parallel, keep the palm down. So the angle of the hand is the first common mistake. The second common mistake then is people bringing their hand to their elbow, not their elbow to their hand. So make sure when you're doing this technique that you are twisting on your waist, even turn your back foot over onto the ball of the toe to get more twist so you can connect to your hand. And again, the best way to do this is to strike a still object like a pad or a freestanding bag or a shield that doesn't move forward so you practice twisting to get the mark into it and then the last common mistake i see is the the angle of the hand is like you're twisting but the palm is facing you the palm is not facing down so again when you do this it's still going to connect but oftentimes uh, you connect more with the forearm so always make sure the palm is down as you twist and the best way to train this is if you are breaking. It will make a huge difference in breaking as the uh, twisting elbow strike is a very common popular break uh, to, to, to test the technique. Once you feel you have the technique down, it is important to test it. So this is how I would train the different angles of the elbow standing still. You could do this on your own, with a partner or with a bob. So from here, you do the elbow strike we've been doing and then you bring it back the other way. So we call this 
reverse elbow. And then you go vertical elbow, uh, straight up, and then you go downwards elbow here. And then you've got rear elbow, and then you've got lean forward, up elbow. Okay, and this is a way to practice six basic elbows. Again, there are others like the downward striking elbow and the jumping elbow, but this drill, one, two, three, four, five, six, has got a nice sort of rhythm to it and you go through all the elbows and again, you can do it on your own. You can do it with some hole in the pad or you can do it on a bob. The second drill now is a coordination drill that encompasses a knee as well but it's all about thinking about the brain and a good, very good coordination drill. So you can do this on your own with a partner or with a freestanding bag. Basically, you're gonna stand in a neutral chumbi ready stance for this one, and you're just going to do a left elbow, a right elbow and a left knee. As soon as you put that left knee down, you're gonna do a right elbow, a left elbow and a right knee, and you're just gonna change back and forth and it's a little coordination drill just to control the motion, keeping your hands up, keep focus on what you're striking towards. And the idea is you start slow and then you put power into it and you start to get that motion of emptying your mind and the elbows and knees, like I said before, very good self-defense moves. So we need to make sure that we drill them constantly in class. The last drill is with a partner and this is a little sensitivity drill. What happens is you have your hands up in a guard and they have their pads up. Now, a lot of times when people elbow, they drop the other hand. So what we're gonna drill now is how to keep the hands up while striking to block the other one. So it comes in and blocks, you block it, and then attack with that elbow going underneath the hand. They strike on the other side, you block it, and then hit over. And again, instead of hitting my own hand now, I'm going to strike across, but my hand is in the same motion, and it just, you defend and you go towards the elbow that's hit. You can do this with your eyes open or eyes closed uh, to get a little bit of proprioceptive training. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial on the elbow strike. Uh, again, it's a technique that I've seen recently some of my uh, new students have trouble with, so I thought I'd make a video on it. If you're enjoying the channel, please like and subscribe, and if you want to see any other techniques in the future, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks.